Guys, in this video, we're gonna unbox and review the WL Toys A979B. I've done a review of the standard version before, I'm gonna put a link to that there, but this one here is the same again, but a bigger motor. It's the Dash EV Headphone Edition. It does mountains, rocks, desert, off-road. You name it, it does it. Oh, hi, right, let's crack him open. <laughs> Subscribe, you get car, radio, tool thingamajig, instructions, charger, battery. Oh, look at the size of that motor. The only thing it doesn't come with is four AA batteries. So, to charge it up, all you do is plug that in there, that in there, that in there, and then when it's done, one of these lights will go out. So while that's charging, let's take a look inside. So this is the older one, this is the one with a smaller motor, this is a B version with the bigger motor, and my god, look at the size of that motor. Normally, this size motor is something that would be found in this, look, same size motor in something like a fraction of the size. They reckon it's gonna do 70 kilometers an hour, which is about 43 mile an hour. Haha, <laughs> we have a GPS, so we will see. So one problem that I had with the small motor version was that this pin that holds the steering assembly together, on impact, it used to pop out, and then you had no steering, and you had to take it all apart, put it back together. On this one, they've put a nut and a bolt straight through, so that can't happen. Other than that, they look exactly the same. Whether or not they've got different gears in there, I don't know. The only thing that I don't really like about these is when they come out of the factory they're really springy there's not really any oil in the shocks on the other one i put some oil in the shocks and as you can see guys it makes a massive difference and i'm going to run this as it is for now because i want to see how what it's like out of the factory so here it is without oil and this is my other one with oil so if all we have to do is take it apart and put a little bit of oil in there, that's no major biggie. By the way, I'm going to put a link to this car in the description box down below. I don't know what their fascination with headphones is. All charged up, let's see how fast this puppy will go. Oh, here it goes. Oh, guys. I think that's gonna go. So as with the others, the steering servo seems fairly strong. Couldn't really find anywhere to put the GPS, so I'll just taped it on for now. Hopefully it will stay. All right, let's try this thing out. Bit hard to see, I got it reset, zero mile an hour. God, it's windy out here. Oh! 33 mile an hour. All right, let's try again. Oh no! Oh, it turned itself off. Alright, so the GPS turned itself off there, but it did remember the settings, so 34 mile an hour. A little bit off of what they claimed, but I couldn't even get full speed out of it. It was just completely... It's just too fast, guys. 34 mile an hour for something that small, guys. It's just uncontrollable. It's just too fast. It's on its roof all the time. It's just completely and utterly overpowered. It's a lot of fun. Well, let's take it next door, hit a couple of jumps, and see how strong this little thing is. And then, if it survives, we'll take it to a skate park in another video.
Oh, backflip! Oh my god, this thing's got some welly! Oh, so looking over it, it doesn't appear to be any damage. Oh, hold on, what's going on here? Oh, that's all right. All the shafts look straight. No plastic looks broken anywhere. All the four-wheel drive still works. Now, so far, guys, I'm going to have to give it a thumbs up. I mean, the only drawback, really, that I can tell so far, is just the steering could do, you know, if that could steer a little bit more. You know, the turning cycle's a little bit on the, on the poor side. But, you know, other than that, guys, it's so fast, it's durable. It does all the stunts, it does backflips, even on that little ramp over in the workshop. You could get a backflip off of that. So that's it for this video, guys. But for the price, I mean, it's crazy, guys. It's fast, it does all the stunts, it's durable. I mean, you can buy all the spare parts for these online. I mean, if you have a look down below, guys, I'm going to put a link where you can get this from. I mean, personally, I would probably use this one more. It's a little bit slower, it's a bit more tamer, and it's more controllable. But I'm going to put a link to both of these down below, guys. I'm going to put a review to this one up here as well. I'm going to put a link up there as well where we had this thing up the skate park. But this one here is going to be a little bit more durable because of that pin. Um, I don't know if the gear's inside the stronger or not. But either way, guys, both a lot of fun. Both really cheap. I mean, you know, what more can you ask? So, guys, hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, smash the bell button so notified. See you soon. Bye.